Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for the month of July. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week. Um, I'll also timestamp the week, so make sure you like and subscribe below and bookmark it so you can come back to it. Alright Pisces, so remember the energies can go both ways could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with so flip it how you need to also remember it's a general reading so just take what's yours leave the rest behind if it does resonate please make sure that you like and subscribe below also if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading find that information below as well all right, so it looks like at the very least, there's a decision that you're going to have to make this month. There could be somebody returning because it looks like there may be a situation, communication, something like that, that kind of catches you off guard the first week. And things are trying to cook up the second week as well. Um, so, and the fourth week, we'll see what's happening in that third week. Nothing negative, negative there. Show me the uh, Knight of Swords for Pisces. For the first week of July. So it looks like there's somebody who, who like, and it just may be around the communication because the Knight of Swords, you could be dealing with a younger Aquarius, Libra, Gemini doesn't have to be. But um, so there's some type of communication or a situation that kind of comes in and catches somebody off guard. And it may be because of the way that it's coming across. Like it could just be the speed of it. Um, but there's like a little defensiveness, some help, some, somebody kind of held back a little bit. Um, and it, because of overthinking and worrying about it, like fear. So it's like somebody wants to say something or a situation may kind of arise around this knight of cups so you could be dealing with another water sign but it looks like you know there's somebody who wants to come in and express their emotions but either they're the way that it's coming across it probably isn't it's coming across more nervous or um you know just really not knowing how to express those emotions because somebody does want to say things and it could be uh, it's on an emotional level, but it's like they're kind of distant and held back around that. Show me the six of wands for Pisces for the first week. Because there is a lot of success, happiness. You could be seen in the public eye. Wow. It more so feels like there's a situation, a person that makes you happy. But somebody is so skeptical. So it, uh, the judgment is here again. This was the card here for the overall energy. And now here it is. So it's again with the nine of swords it's like somebody is it looks like wanting to return because they're so because this makes them happy but i can't really say that it's it's going forward because again we have the nine of swords similar to this eight of swords that was here for the first week so somebody is very much in their head worrying nervous um and it, it, it kind of looks like somebody is just letting the situation play out and kind of just unfold but not a lot of movement there could be a reconciliation and in which case it does not feel like you know it's it's going very well there may be a situation where you know somebody is expecting an apology or is whatever's happened here because um, Somebody is still holding on to the situation and wanting to move forward. But at the time now, it's like wrapped, very much wrapped up in the mind. Very nervous and it doesn't look like too much is really happening there. It's, it's moving forward. Show me the Seven of Cups for the second week of July. For Pisces. So the Seven of Cups is kind of... Uh, it, it can be um, options and choices, but it's still somebody not 100% on the fence. But we do have a lot of emotions around it. With the Ten of Cups, that's your emotional fulfillment. If there was a third party involved in the past, then um, yeah, then I would be kind of leery here if that wasn't on your side. Because 
the, we have the ace of cups this week as well so it tells me that somebody is something new is starting uh, a fresh start a new beginning it could be somebody new altogether but there is a factor uh, definitely physically attracted to you could be an aries leo sag but like an essence of yeah there's that seven of cups again Let, let's around that so it looks like somebody has choices options like i don't know if this was an x here because there's new things trying to happen communication coming in and choices being made here fresh starts but that didn't go there but um with the queen of wands here you may have multiple offers you could have a lot of people attracted to you things like that you could definitely have options show me this five of cups it looks like you're kind of worried that things aren't going to be balanced or and remember that can also be uh reverse show me this five of cups because there is something new starting like i said you may have multiple options but I, it feels like there's one particular person here um that may hold your heart a little bit more than the others again i'm not i'm not it's not feeling like it's all the way taking off yet although emotions are here this could be someone brand new it feels like there's still uh, you may have options here and i'm not sure if you're really there may be something that's kind of like either emotions getting held in or choices that are being made show me this uh four of swords for pisces for the third week this is about healing wow all right so you're healing from something that's ended here it could have been from betrayal something like that taurus virgo capricorn you're slowly moving away from it right but with the knight of pentacles it feels like whatever somebody is is it's there's not a lot of movement and it is about healing but you're still holding on to something or this person like moving away slowly from this ending but there's still a hold like not a release on it hmm it almost feels like there could be some um jealousy as well around something that you're doing for work or just something that you're doing in general capricorn energy Shoo. hold on i picked up a card show me this hierophant for the third week because it's like you're moving away from this ending slowly but it doesn't feel like either either you or this person someone has been let go yeah the devil capricorn energy so this could be an X. You have the Six of Wands again, which you have for the first week as well. With the Hierophant, you could be dealing with the Taurus. It could be a marriage. Um, but it does look like there's someone here. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a person that has kind of ended. And now it's an opportunity. Somebody is coming out with their feelings here. But I, uh, it could be like a, a dating thing. A reconciliation for sure. This would be somebody probably that you're very attracted to. Has a high sex drive. And remember this all doesn't have to apply. But um, could have some swag. Some ego. Could have been you know a toxic person from the past. That is still like I said holding on to this. Cause it's like it's, it's somebody was feeling lonely right it looks like um i don't know if you just weren't paying much attention to them or this could be the person from the first week but there's an opportunity communication that's now presented emotions being expressed things like that cooking up somebody is coming back here but uh, just be mindful go within virgo energy or this could be somebody that you met online all right, show me the Six of Swords for Pisces for the fourth week. So we have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So it, things are moving. There could be communication here, but it looks like the way that somebody is moving with it is planned. Um, show me the Seven of Swords. Could be moving, could be traveling, but just moving forward 
yeah some things actually may be revealed here because i don't know if there's a third party uh pregnancy where's that other card uh show me the seven of swords because it's almost like there's an opportunity that's popping up here but with the seven of swords in the middle of it that's um that can, that's a liar cheater thief so it could be somebody being dishonest so and because we have this devil here what is the seven of swords at the very least i'm going to say you there's an opportunity here yeah see it's almost like somebody may be is this could have been a situation where there was competition or other people around it but it feels like there's an opportunity that you're moving towards and that may uh there may be some it may cause some con uh a little bit uh, it may stir some pots a little bit because it goes back to the seven of cups that we have for the seven of week second week somebody having options or choices or just not all the way sure but we have two sevens here so make sure you you reflect on where you've been and where you're trying to go and move in that manner show me this eight of wands for pisces for the fourth week of july because this is communication your money's looking good i think you're moving forward with um definitely your money for sure with the nine and ten of pentacles but also on the flip side it's like um we're back to this shoot hold on we're back to this healing we're back to um kind of this laying low so it's over here somebody it looks like has has a plan for something for some type of opportunity and then over here it's like you're moving on the flip side there's a situation where you're moving forward your money is definitely stepping up and you may just be more focused and finding peace within that because the four of swords is kind of you know just just laying low here what is this opportunity for Pisces for the fourth week? Yeah, the Lovers Gemini energy and the Page of Cups. This could be some type of offer to travel, to move. And you may have, like I said, people competing for you. Or vice versa. But at the very least, it's like there's a plan that's being put into place, possibly on your side, about an opportunity. But just, you know, be certain about it. Because it also looks like you're finding some type of peace from things moving forward on a financial level as well. But I'm not loving the Seven of Swords just because we've had, you know, possibly like an, uh, I don't know if it's an obsession, like sexually or... You know, somebody's ego, something is happening here. It feels like there's been someone in the background. Um, possibly, you know, on your side. Because like I said, you may have multiple people there. So, all right, Pisces. I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.